What is going on guys? In this one I'm going to show you how to use the EOS Voter desktop application by Graymass in order to vote for block producers using your EOS address and private key. So EOS Voter is the easiest way I've found here to vote your EOS for block producers and in order to get it you need to come to Graymass's GitHub page it will be the first link in the description of this video. It's just github.com slash graymass slash eos dash voter. And once you're on that page, again, first link in the description, scroll down to this eos voter, eos block producer voting and wallets, and scroll down to the first set of links you see here called releases. I'm on Windows, so I ran the Windows installer. Just click this. And then you can see it down it'll download and once it downloads just click the file and run it if you get a warning from Windows or something uh, just click run anyway and once that has run you will get a desktop icon like this EOS dash voter that is what we want to use so go ahead and double click into this if after running the executable file it didn't automatically pull you in there and this is the first screen you will see. To get started, EOS Voter needs to connect to an EOS API node. Enter the node you'd like to connect to. So we need to go back to the GitHub page here in order to get a node to connect to. And simply, here's the releases where you download your installation package. Just a couple sections below that is called endpoints. Go ahead and just open that link. And scroll down on that EOS nodes it'll give you a list of EOS nodes since this is a gray mass application I'm just gonna go ahead and use the gray mass node so copy whatever node you want to use and go ahead and paste it into here control V for those on Windows and once you paste it in bada bing bada boom it loads up the EOS voter application so next we need to input our account name and you need to input your private key. So in order to get your account name, like I said, you need to look up your account name via your public key. And this is the public key and private key you got when you registered your EOS ERC20 wallet. So I used Exodus wallet, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the file from Exodus wallet that gave me my public and private key and again in order to get account name just click look up your account name input my EOS public key in here and just make sure it's right EOS 7 I 1 EOS 7 I 1 PAVG 6 PAVG 6 okay so this is my account name go ahead and copy that control C for those on Windows and paste that into here control V got the check mark or good next I need my private key so gonna grab my private key from the spreadsheet that Exodus wallet gave me and if you did use Exodus wallet uh, go check out my previous video I'll have a link for that in the description as well on how to get your EOS public and private key from your Exodus wallet if you used some other means of registering your wallet uh, you would have gotten an EOS public key and EOS private key when you registered your EOS ERC20 wallet. So now just let me put in my EOS private key. There we go. Now save and encrypt local wallet with password. If you input, if you have this checked and you input a password, that will save and encrypt your account, your public and private key onto your desktop and in this application. If you don't want to save your information in here, you can unclick this and it'll you'll be able to use this right now, but you won't be able to if you log back log back in, you'll have to reinsert your account name and your private key in order to connect to it. I'm going to go ahead and just have it save and encrypt. So I'm going to import a password, input a password and click save account just need to re-enter that password to proceed save local wallet 
and it just gives you EOS governance and cons constitution. Scroll down. I accept these terms. Now we're good to vote. You can see I have zero of 30 votes cast. So in order to cast a vote, just come over here and click up to 30 block producers you want to vote for. Uh, these aren't going to be my actual block producers. I can come back and change it, but let me just show Gray Mass some love since this is their application, Team Gray Mask. So what that, that's about five or six. So six, six of 30 total votes cats. Just click submit changes to blockchain, submit votes. And there we go. Vote has been casted. Now, if you ever want to come back in and change your vote, just come back in, uncheck ones you don't want. Um, let me just add one in, meet one. So add that in. Once you add or subtract any block producers, just come back and submit changes to blockchain, submit votes. And that's it. It's that easy. So that is how you vote for block producers and set up your EOS voter desktop application from Graymass. Again, this is one of the easier ways I've found. Uh, you know, there's less steps than using Scatter. So take some steps out of it. In the very beginning, you got to input a node to connect to. Then you input your account name and your private key and use a password if you want to save the wallet locally. If not, next time you log in you'll have to input your account name and private key again and then after that you just select your block producers hit save changes once you picked them and you have voted so that's it i hope this video helped this is how to use the eos voter desktop application from gray mass again the github link will be the first link in the description and that is the link you'll need to go to and use in order to install and set up your eos voter desktop application so I hope this video helps some of you guys out there. If it did, please drop a like on it. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, stay living that crypto money life.